Orlovsky shows well-rounded skill. Andre Orlovsky, he's a youngster, just 21 years old, speaks no English, but brings a big time bit of ability into the ultimate fighting champion. Sambo champion, who was a soccer goaltender until the age of 14, gave it up due to his desire to concentrate on personal fitness. He's got a ton of fitness coming into tonight's matchup. Lasky out of Belarus, Minsk, as a matter of fact. Seems like he has been practicing his striking abilities. Well, that is the one thing these fighters realize when they get to this big stage, the Super Bowl of Mixed Martial Arts, you better be able to do just about everything fairly well because you may not be able to put the tactic that you want in place right at the beginning of the night. Now that tactic is starting to be put in place by Arlovsky. Brink very active, though. Ooh, nearly had an arm. Still might have that opportunity. There it is. There's the tap. Oh, it's over. how quick was it's that? It's over. The Russian, the Sambo master, is able to submit his opponent. That was unbelievable. 55 seconds into round number one. It is over. Orlovsky successful in his UFC debut. From Minsk, Belarus, Andre Orlovsky. And when you look up and down the table at Andre Orlovsky, he is the man who has the wider array of talent. Andre Orlovsky set to fight for the belt. You really realize how big Tim Sylvia is when you see him dwarf Andre Orlovsky. Oh, big right hand! Extremely intelligent, the knots very big. Check Arlovsky's kicks and get in there with punches. Arlovsky takes him down. What happened? What happened? Big John right away. Wow. It's over That's already. It. On the that is it. You know what? We were blocked. We didn't even see the punch at the end of the fight. Andre Arlovsky, arm wow. in the air. Paul Montello can't even believe it. And Joe, you can see his world is rocked at the moment. Wow, that was so fast. And we, we were from an angle. We didn't even see the punch land. What a great job by the big John chin. McCarthy. Look at this. Bam, on the button. One punch knockout. Paul Buentello clearly was out of it. His legs were stiff. He was gone. That was it. Wow, anticlimactic, but very climactic at the same time. Well, Andre Arlovsky is a supreme athlete, and the thing about Andre Arlovsky is his jiu-jitsu is now more complete. He actually goes with more jiu-jitsu than Sambo now, and Andre Arlovsky is a much better fighter today than he was when he held the UFC Heavyweight Championship. And now the heavyweight attraction we've all been waiting for, three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. And Arlovsky comes right back. technical portion of the fight. You know, when you're, you're a big man and you're putting out as much energy as you just watched, it does oh, take a lot out. Nice big right hand by Andre Arlovsky. Well, you know what's a good fight point. with his blood on the camera? <laughs> oh, oh, oh he finally set, got set, the touchdown oh. again. He strikes, and Big Ben, the clock goes out. Andre Arlovsky fought a beautiful fight. 
fight. He was a new fighter. He was not trying to hold back. He was going after his opponent, and that's why he ended up dismantling Ben Rothwell. The highly popular former UFC heavyweight champion, Andre Arlovsky. And he won the UFC interim heavyweight title. You remember that? 47 seconds. And Achilles lock of Tim Sylvia. Arlovsky says he feels like a baby again. His win over Ray Lopez in Hawaii in August was the first baby step to rebuilding his mixed martial arts career one step at a time. Oh, the big kibosh! Yes! The big kibosh! He planted him like a tree! One second to go! Arlovsky planted him like a tree! Nice step, goes up for a nice inside leg kick, drops his hand, reaches with his left hand, but drops his right hand, he gets caught right near him. Frank, the beauty of that technique, he didn't even switch up on it. It was not a switch kick, he threw it off the lead stance. Fulton dropped his right glove, looped the shin around the back of the neck. Good night, Irene. Fulton still out cold here on the canvas. Wow, what a great knockout. Put it perfectly placed, perfectly timed. And he didn't try to swing it. He didn't try to put any energy on it. He just let it go through very easy. One of 13 men to have held the undisputed UFC heavyweight title. Here is the 35-year-old Andre Orlovsky making his 34th professional appearance here tonight. He was a soccer goalie until he was 14 left the sport to concentrate on personal fitness, actually enrolled in the police academy. One of the required classes was Sambo, went on to become an international master of sport, and he parlayed that into one of the more successful MMA careers, at least in terms of heavyweights, that the UFC has ever seen. Orlovsky doing a good job of slipping off. Oh! oh! Bigfoot goes down! Early knockdown for Orlovsky, Silver's He's out! He's got it! Andre Orlovsky has done it! A huge upset here tonight in Brasilia! There it is. And it was a right hand before that, Jeff. It was a series of right hands. I'd love to see that right hand that landed as he slipped off to the side. He kept doing that, which was smart. His head came off that center line and out of danger. And what a finish from Andre Arlovsky. In July of 2008, Andre Arlovsky ran into Ben Rothwell in the middle of a winning streak. And the former UFC heavyweight champion extended that streak with a third round knockout win. 11 years later, Rothwell gets his long awaited chance to even the score with the pit bull here in San Antonio. Also making the walk for his 48th professional fight tonight, Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky, former UFC heavyweight champion, made his UFC debut November 17th in 2000. So 20 years in the fight game for Arlovsky. Still thinks he's got another four or five years and still focused on contention, still focused on the belt. Combinations by Ar Arlovsky are nice. He's always throwing more than one or two and that's a huge advantage against a guy like Rothwell. You've got to throw combinations. Nice step there by Arlovsky. Rothwell retreats. Four UFC appearances for Arlovsky in 2018. Hoping for another four here this year. Rothwell with some pretty significant damage on the left side of his face here. Oh, and that's how he hurt Rothwell earlier. That jab is just so quick. Big right hand again. And Arlovsky just picking away at Rothwell. Just chip, chip, chip. Ooh. And this is where a coach comes in and says, hey, is my guy taking too much damage? But again, that would be the hardest decision in a heavyweight guy like this who can hit. You know, it's a, you'd know, hate to pull a fight where Rob Rothwell can, can land that shot. Right. But again, he's getting pretty up. I mean, those heavy, heavyweight shots, you talked about the last fight, the guys are going to hurt. Man, Rothwell's going to hurt. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Andre the Pitbull, all